Melbourne Cup Day 1965 and fine feathers make fine birds, but Lord Casey had other things on his mind. Here's the Gold Cup, for instance, with $70,000 standing at stake. They're racing in the Melbourne Cup with Tobin Bronze and Zaima near the rails best to begin. Bounced out in advance of Friends Grant. Light Fingers got out well, followed by Matlock and Sail Away. And then a gap to Yangtze, Hunting Horn, Delento, Craftsman. Uh, Strauss coming across from the outside and so too is Midlander. And Algalon is just in behind that bunch. A race for the lead, settling fully into stride. But Yangtze going fast. Wide out had taken over the lead at the judges' box the first time. Six furlongs out and Yangtze clear of Hunting Horn. They are followed by Jovial Knight, Tobin Bronze, Friends Grant, then a gap to Zaima. Light Fingers next, followed by Strauss. Uh, by the time they get to the half mile, Yangtze in front. There's a fall there and down is Boarhead. Also Matlock and River Sane. But passing the three furlongs mark and coming near to the turn and Yangtze still the leader. Showing clear of Tobin Bronze. Zaima starting to boot through and they're followed by Light Fingers. Zinga Lee going right around the outside of Friends Grant, followed by Midlander and then a gap to Strauss well in the straight and Yangtze is still giving plenty of cheek out in front Zaima charging at him and his little light fingers coming out of the rack and going out after Zaima with about a furlong and a quarter left to go it's Zaima nicely clear but inch by inch it's light fingers wearing Zaima down Midlander finishing well Yangtze hanging on gamely here's a two horse war light fingers and Zaima they split the line dead heat no light fingers from Zaima and Midlander third it's a big day for Roy the Boy Higgins, Melbourne's idol. He achieved a lifetime ambition.